Good Monday morning, Bob Brooks here. Today I want to give you a couple tips on building your network marketing, affiliate marketing, MLM business online. Before I get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button notification bell down there. We're trying to help as many people as possible. We're getting close to 500 subscribers and that's exciting. So the tips I want to talk about today, there's two. The first one's a two-parter and that's consistent and persistent. You got to be consistent and persistent. Consistent, simply put, means you're going to do it every day or every other day, you're gonna have a schedule, you're gonna to stick to it, you're gonna have a daily, I call it a daily method of operation. Something to promote your business every day. You're gonna be consistent. You're not gonna skip. You're gonna dedicate yourself to doing, whether it's promoting on safe list, traffic exchanges, classified ads, paid advertising, uh, maybe it's reaching out on Facebook, connecting with people like I do. I just connect with them, I don't try to sell them, I just wanna meet people. Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, whatever you want to do, you have to do it daily at a minimum every other day. Some platforms like YouTube, I do it every other day. I don't do videos every day. I might start doing some shorts to have it every day, but we're going to see how that goes. But I do something every day to promote my business, being consistent. Persistent is sticking with it, not quitting. It's going the long haul, putting yourself to the test and staying persistent. And I like to compare this to running a marathon. I've run in my life, I did a 10 mile race, I never did the marathon, but I can compare it to a marathon because I know what happens. It's a lot like online businesses. The first few miles when you start a long race, you have nothing but negative talk. You start out all, all dreamy of what it's gonna be like to fit, cross that finish line. Like a business, we have the dreams of what it's gonna be like when we get there. But when we start out, it's nothing but negativity that hit, comes in our brain. Our brain starts saying how hard it is, it's too hard. You don't know how to do it, you don't have the experience. Uh, it's just not going to work. And when you're running the marathon, you go through that. It's like, it's too hard. My legs hurt. My breathing isn't right. These guys have more experience than me. There's too many hills. Maybe I should go to that race where there's less hills. Maybe I should go to a different business where they have better capture pages or it looks easier. And we switch and start over. That's not being persistent. That's starting over. Maybe you look at the next one with the flat ground. Like, man, these guys are all professional runners. I don't belong in here. I, look at that one. They got older people. Maybe you're with a business where everybody's just going off and you don't even know what you're doing and no one's helping you so you go to a different business and you start over again uh that but that running and our business the first almost half of it the first half of the journey is negative in our heads and we got to be careful because we'll listen to it it's all hard it's all this is too much this is this because we're in territory we don't do on a regular basis if you're a runner and you do it all the time you understand this but if you're not that first part a lot of people quit in the early part of the race or even during the training because they realize how hard it is. Well, online business is no different. People realize doing something every day and being consistent and persistent takes a lot of work. And it takes a lot of learning because when you start out, you don't know it all. I said one time it's like swimming. You can't learn how to swim and then jump in the pool. You have to jump in the pool to learn how to swim. Online marketing is no different. You can't learn enough to come in and be a professional. You have to jump in and get better at what you do as you do it. It's a learning phase. You gotta get in there and learn. So you have to be consistent, persistent, and stick with it. And that's running. Once you start running, you get, you, the first part of it, it's so hard. You wanna quit so bad. And same with online, so many people quit, they change. And the dream's still there, so they always start over again. But you have to be persistent and stick with what you started with and get it done. Now, there are some cases where you're going to switch because you have to, company goes away, that sort of thing. But I'm talking about you did your research, you picked a good company, a good group of people to be with. You got to be consistent, persistent, and know that this up here is going to be your biggest challenge in the first half. It's all going to be negativity, and you got to remind yourself why you're doing it, and it does work, and you just have to keep working. You have to be consistent, persistent, and do it every day. So that's the big thing that I compare to running is because a runner, if you ever watch the finish line and that person that really wasn't prepared or really this is their dream and they're the last one, they come across that finish line. They're hurting. I know I did that 10 mile run. I was hurting at the end. I wasn't prepared. I hadn't taken the time. And coming across that finish line, your legs are hurting. <laughs> Every ounce of your body, your back is hurting. But the best feeling in the world because you just accomplished what you set out to do. You can't imagine the feeling when you cross that line and there's not a big fanfare there. The, the winners have all gone home. You're the last one. And, but it's okay because in your heart, you're the best you ever felt. And that feeling carries on for days in a run. Now with a business, imagine when you get to that point where you can quit your job. What it's going to feel like every day when you get up and you look out that window, there might be three, four inches of snow and you don't have to go to work because you're working at your house. You're working from your computer. Imagine what it's like having a paycheck commission coming in bigger than your boss ever paid you. Why? Because you took things and you stuck with it 
and you were consistent and persistent. You learned while you went. You got through that hard part because I do know in a runner, that first part's so hard, but once you get to this middle part of the race, you look back and you're like, there's no way I'm quitting now. I've come too far. I'm almost there. I can see I'm halfway through this. I'm through the hardest part. It's still going to be hard, but I've already accomplished all that. And if I quit, I lose all that. I, I don't get anything out of it. It's just pain. It's just negativity. So now at the halfway point, you start thinking different. You're seeing that finish line. You're like, I can do this. I'm getting better at it. I found my stride. I'm getting better. I'm learning new things. And the finish line is getting closer and closer. And I'm having some successes. And I'm at mile eight, or I'm at mile 19. And I've got five more to go, but I did 19. Well, 19, seven more. Uh, but you start looking at the finish and not the beginning where it's hard. You learn how far you've come. And that growth is a win in itself. When you grow as a person and you never did a YouTube before and all of a sudden you find yourself looking forward to doing YouTube and you're comfortable with it, that's growth. You find yourself connecting with people and talking with people. You were never an outgoing person like that, but now you are. That's growth. And you're going to get that through all this. And you're going to get to that finish. So you got to be consistent and persistent. And then this last second tip is all about branding. I want to talk about branding. Maybe you're not haven't been around long enough to brand yourself. I'm still working on branding myself. I am getting better known out there. People have heard my name. They call me and say they've seen my videos. Or so I'm branding a little bit. But I want to show you a picture of what ultimate branding looks like. Hold on. Look at this picture. Here's ultimate branding. I mean, everybody knows who these companies are just by their logos. Nike, Target, McDonald's, Shell, Starbucks, Apple. We know them all just because they've branded it. I mean, it's just a circle. <laughs> it's just a few circles. This is just an M and this is just a whoosh. I mean, there's not much to it and an apple with a bite out, but we, we know who they are because of the branding. I mean, they were really good at branding their image and that's what we do online. So what do you do if you're new and you're not branded yet, but you want to be branded? You find a team. You join a team that has their own brand or you join a company that has a brand. You get behind the company brand the problem with the company brand, though, is if somebody sees that brand and they don't know you, they're going to Google or YouTube that brand and they're going to find somebody who did a review and they're going to call me or somebody else and ask us about the company. So if you can find a team that has their own brand, we're Power Team 5. we got a new logo coming out that's going to just blow things away. I'm so, excited. I, I, I'm so excited to finally have a logo that's so professional. And I give thanks to Scott and Duncan for this, part of our team, that are putting this together for us. It's going to be a logo that you can stand behind as the brand that's our team. And if you're part of our team, you use that logo and you can get behind that brand and it'll become a well-known brand because it's such a good logo. People are going to see it, know it. They're going to want to know more about it and they're going to contact you off of your information because of the brand. And it's a great thing. We're Power Team 5. It's going to be a great logo and I really like it because I can brand behind this. And by using that brand, I can brand myself as somebody part of that team. And that's what you can do if you're new is get behind a team that has a great brand or logo and then brand yourself in the process of using being part of that team. And then you can break away and do your own stuff if you want. But it's all about branding. You want to become known. You want to be part of a team or something like that where people are like, yeah, I want to be part of Power Team 5 because they know what they're doing. If you're by yourself, why do they want to be part of Charlie's business if Charlie doesn't know what he's doing? If Charlie just has a capture page that goes to a sales page, What's the point? Why would I want to hook up with them? You will get some people. I mean, there's people who just can see the opportunity want to be there. But how much more powerful if you're a brand? It just makes sense. I mean, it just, it's there. So you want to be branded. You want to brand yourself. And if you don't have that notoriety, notability, or whatever you want to call it, get behind a team that does. And Power Team 5 does. I've got information down there. If you want to reach out to me, I'd be happy to talk to you about what's coming, what we're doing, who we are, and help you get started at working online and getting from the starting point to the finish line. So I got for Monday. We'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye.